on Remembrance, Remembrance Sunday. Sunday for 25 days. And well, just in terms <laughs> of the idea that it's going to be France, but trying to get here. Well, they can't go through the usual routes. What are you, which routes are you talking? No, there might be two reasons why um, mm -hmm. the benefits. Uh, I will get housed. You know, it might not be much money I'm entitled to, yeah. but I will at least get some. Because there are historical or family ties. Absolutely. How much pressure is Pretty Patel under? They're going earlier because... Oh, because we... Hi there, good morning. It's just gone half past six. Welcome to the programme. I I'm a bit of an emotional wreck today, Susanna. Mm -hmm. I, uh, we're going to be joining Brian a little bit later. Summary uh, mission, the ultimate sacrifice challenge. He's run a marathon every day of November. Today is the 25th in 25 days. Yeah. Every mile he's run is in memory of a soldier that was lost during Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah. This day. And I joined him, motivated him to, to get through the runs. 26 miles every day. <sighs> as you're going around and he just says remembered. So today is the last day for him. Can't wait to see him. Yeah. And, and just for him to soak up that moment of what he's done. Yeah. I think this one's going to be the easiest because there's a whole, I think he's going to float around. <laughs> yeah, and he's already done 24 <laughs> four of them. Four of yeah. them. Uh, but by the end of it, it's something yeah. like 635 miles. So just... look forward to seeing him and sending him off on his last marathon uh, this morning. Also, we are sending off our director, Erin yes. Gordon. Uh, who's been with us since the very beginning. He was there on the very first day. He's been there on lots of very first days and very last days. Yes. This is well. his first ever Thursday he's done. Yeah, uh, well done, Erin. So Finally friendly. come in and done a four day week. <laughs> his first and last. Uh, uh, we are very proud of what Erin uh, has managed to do and put up with us over these years. Yes. But uh, I know that Andy Peters is in New York. He's been in New York all week. Yeah. And uh, Andy, we can't quite believe he's definitely leaving, no. but we want to send him off in style, don't we? It seems, Andy, it seems very apt that just to know what we can read into that, I'd love to know how much it costs to advertise on one of those screens in Times Square. So how much, Erin? Hey, we're going to miss you. We've still got to we're back with Andy to Times Square as well a little bit later on. Can't wait to see what Andy does when I leave. If he gets there and I'm tired, that's really exciting, isn't it? Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, plenty coming up. We're going to uh, talk about the changes proposed for uh, football regulation. Um, with Tracy Crouch, uh, who has led this fan-led review. And Darren Lewis is uh, joining us uh, this morning. Those other clubs that have very, got come very close mm. to going uh, under, uh, whether this will actually stop that from happening, protecting those clubs and supporting the football pyramid as well is a big thing too, because we saw the struggles for a lot of those football league clubs when COVID shut and they couldn't get people through the gates. And we know that there's a very top heavy situation with the Premier League getting so much money mm -hmm. that can be filtered down. Well, it does. It, it does already trickle Absolutely, down. Absolutely, but sort of in, in, Whether in a there way will that be feels a, like it's, yeah. A bigger price for the bigger clubs to pay. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about this tragedy in the channel yesterday. At least 27 people died. Um, it's the worst loss of life since the migrant crisis across the channel began and, and, and figures were beginning to be taken. Five women, a young girl um, and, and obviously 20 men killed in this terrible, terrible accident. Jonathan Swain, leader writer Sonia Soda is here. Get in touch with us, let us know what you think. It's a tricky, tricky situation. Uh, oh, it's tragic. Kind of Absolutely tragic. 27 lost lives, in, including at least one child in the channel. Oh. 6.55, lots more still to come on Good Morning Britain. It was Erin's last day. Erin who? Uh, oh, that's show business. Charming. <laughs> competition time now. We have and we're launching a competition for a new director. Yes. Oh. <laughs> now there's a challenge. Andy, forget the forget the all the. Okay. God, have, it's never too early for Christmas now. Have... It is. It's... Oh. Yeah, well, on. the Queen apparently. Well, here's Charlotte. So... Beautifully. Can't get enough of it. Christmas. Come is on. your Christmas tree up? Not strictly, but there is Christmas decorations around the house. It's never too early for a bit of the boob, is it? Get boob on in. in... January, February, I'll have a bit of... Why would you do that? It's beginning. Well, you mean the boob yeah. leg? Well, boob to his mates. Uh, still ahead on Good Morning Britain. This man... I think, praise. <laughs> and he'll be joining us this morning. He set his sights, of course, on Hollywood. He's a hugely successful writer. Yes. And a pointless celebrity. His new book. Not my words. The man Who Died Twice. This is the Follett hit. Yeah. Uh, and this is the, se the sequel that's coming out. It's one of four. Uh, uh, we've got the news travel and weather where, where you are. We've also got some boobs for Ben. It's beginning to look a
Let's take a look at the will of your late father, Robert. 